welcome back. So our goal this time is to start adding more features than we ever had before. Uh, we're going to start adding the uh, the edit and delete buttons. Um, so you can see that in the finished version, if I click on edit, um, it actually shows up this extra column in the table. Um, and each of these um, has two buttons on it. One is for edits, uh, the other is for delete. Um, and then, you know, clicking on them does things as well. What we're worried about now, though, is we're, we're not going to add JavaScript yet. We just want to actually see, can we make, like, in a static way, this edits column show up? And how do we, how do, we do that and, and make these pretty little buttons? And, and how does that all work? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new uh, row to our table. Uh, our new row is just going to be called edits. Um, and then inside uh, each uh, row, we're going to add stuff. <laughs> I'll just say stuff for now. And of course, we'll have to fix that. And so right now, we're just working in a static way. Uh, so it, didn't, it, it doesn't pop in with the edit button. Uh, it just says stuff uh, all the time, right? So edit stuff, 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 stuff. Um, so now we've got to start learning more about buttons. So we want to actually put buttons in here. So buttons are things that already exist. Uh, we're just going to be adding some pretty to it. So that's uh, the type of thing that would be CSS. So if you go to the CSS area and you find buttons, uh, you can see that there's a lot of information in here about buttons. So um, there's examples in here of different colors of buttons. So we're going to add a green button and a red button. Uh, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and grab those. Um, so the one that said success was green, the one that said danger was, was red. I'm just going to copy from success down to danger. Uh, and I'm just going to paste it in my stuff area. So I'm going to go ahead and make two lines out of that guy because it's about to get bigger. And I didn't really want these, these ones in the middle. I just wanted um, one that said, uh, that was for edit. What the heck, I'll make it say edit. Uh, and then the other that says uh, delete. All right, so if I save that up and I go refresh my page, uh, so now you can see it says edit and it says delete. Um, we don't want those. We want little icons, and we also want them to be smaller, right? Um, so let's go add the icons first instead of setting the buttons. So icons are um, a new component. Uh, so it's going to be in the in the Bootstrap components area, and it's actually right at the top, which is convenient. So they're called glyph icons. Um, so we're going to want this one, this glyph icon for pencil. And then we're also going to want a glyph icon for remove. Those are going to be the two we've got. If you scroll down just a little bit below all the icons, uh, it's got an example usage. Um, and it's real simple. You just, uh, instead of saying a word, uh, you just have the span and you say which icon you want. So if I come back in here, instead of saying edit, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and make it on two lines. Instead of saying edit, I'm just going to throw in an icon. Um, and instead of search, I want pencil. And then for delete, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the word, uh, make a space for myself. Uh, I'm going to want the remove is the one that I wanted. So instead of words, uh, you can have it uh, uh, make those icons, which is great. Uh, let's go try that guy. Uh, and so that worked. Uh, you can see I've got my cool little icons that are they're kind of foolishly too big. Uh, so we want the button to be smaller. Um, so the button being smaller, we'll have to go back over to the CSS area for buttons. Um, and there was an area for classes you can add to change the button sizes. So if you scroll down to sizes, you can see there's small and there's extra small. If you want a button to be extra small, you just have to add the class button XS. So if I just come into these guys um, and I find my button, I just add button X, uh, S. You can put it anywhere in this list. Uh, the order doesn't matter. Then you come back over and you refresh your page again. Um, it's still showing up in a static way, uh, but hopefully it looks good. All right, I think that looks pretty sharp, right? So it's the right size. Uh, it's got those cool little icons. I am loving Bootstrap, man. Like this, like, ah, oh, it'd be so hard to make all this, and yet you can just do it with Bootstrap. I love it. Um, let's go ahead and do some more stuff. So we're not going to add the functionality yet. That'll be later. Uh, we're not going to add, you know, the, the showing and hiding yet. Uh, but we'll go ahead and prepare it uh, for that level. Whenever you want to be able to, like, change something, 
um, it's nice to give it a class that you can refer to later. So what we're going to do is, you know, there are going to be times where we're going to sh show this column and times where we hide it. So what we're going to do to kind of prepare for that later is we're going to give it a class. I'm going to call it Edit Actions. Uh, so I just called that uh, that uh, Edit Actions. So I added that on the header, uh, which was great. And then I'm going to also add it on the TD. So the TD also gets the class of Edit Actions. And now what I can do is if I ever want to hide these things, I can say, hey, just look for all the Edit Actions out there in the world. Um, and make them hidden or make them shown. In fact, what I want to do is I want to start them hidden, right? So, I mean, I haven't made any functional changes to the page yet, but you can see they're starting off shown. That's not what I want. I want to start them off hidden. And so in order to start them off hidden, I'm going to go and add the hidden class now. So in addition to edit actions, I'm going to also say, use the class hidden. If you go look at Bootstrap, I suppose I should have gone and showed you where it was at. Uh, the CSS area, like towards the bottom. So towards the bottom, there's a bunch of things called helper classes. Um, and these are just like little classes that you can add. You can see this is where I found the BG success. Um, there's little things like this that can just help you out with little things. If you scroll down here enough, I'm sure that there's, yeah, there it is. Um, it tells you about this, uh, this class called hidden. If you add it to something, it's going to not be displayed, right? So that's, that's kind of what it does. All right, so we've added hidden onto the TD. Uh, did I get on the TH yet? No, I did not. Uh, hidden and hidden. So now if I go reload my page, it's it's actually going to look worse because they're, it's going to disappear, right? So it's just going to not show up initially. Um, but we know that there's a lot of goodness uh, just that's just currently being hidden uh, that we can expose uh, as soon as we want to. Uh, so once your page loads up, uh, you can see that those columns are gone. Um, it, if you click edit, it doesn't do anything yet, uh, but that's going to require some JavaScript, so we'll do that next time. All right, you've got some really cool columns uh, that are hidden just below the surface that we'll use next time. See you then.